The battle between Wei and Shu was about to take a new turn. Sima Zhao, the son of Sima Yi, had assumed power within Wei. And in Shu, the prodigious Jiang Wei was determined to carry on the ambition of Zhuge Liang. It was then that Wei's Zhuge Dan grew tired of Sima Zhao's despotic rule and rose in rebellion at Shouchuan. Wei sent the bulk of its army to put down this uprising. This was one opportunity that Jiang Wei was not going to let slip away. Eager to fulfill the wishes of those that came before him, he set out to invade Guangzhou, which was protected by Deng Ai. The thoughts and intentions of Zhang Fei's daughter, Xing Tsai, were the same as those of Jiang Wei. For the sake of her fallen father, as well as Lord Liu Shan, she would fight this battle as if it were her last. I will fight for Lord Liu Shan, no matter what anyone says about him. Zhuge Dan of Wei has started a rebellion. This is our chance to take Guangzhou while its defenses are weak. We can finally bring the dreams of our Lord to fruition. We will restore peace to the land. I will do whatever it takes to make that dream a reality. Indeed, Xing Tsai. Additionally, we also need to win this battle for Lord Liu Shan, for he is our last hope. Jiang Wei. All right, let's go. Taking this land will give us a foothold in our campaign against Wei. First, we must break through the gates. All units, prepare to march! <laughs> Our mission is to strengthen our defenses. We have to hold out until the main army returns. I hope you're prepared to die. We will need to clear the area around the gates in order to use our siege weapon. I hope you're prepared to die. I must work harder myself.
We have all spent our days going through intense training. Now is the time to display the results. We have to destroy those things at once. I'm speechless. Maybe I'll try and match your feats out there. into a corner. I must retreat and rethink my plans. Dedicating yourself to a man labeled as an imbecile. It's not that much different than my own situation. You also have faith in the one you protect. We wouldn't be able to carry on otherwise. You're out here all alone? I welcome such carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. Cannot fulfill my duty of destroying Wei. I hope you're prepared to die. Uh, they're so serious. You remind me of somebody. Be quiet. I don't have time for your wise acts right now. Time to meet out your punishment. I am sorry. 
Sorry to keep you waiting. I shall give you whatever assistance I am able. I hope you're prepared to you die. You have some guts if you're willing to face Dong Ai in battle. I hope you're prepared to die. I was most definitely in a spot of trouble back there. Thank you for saving I hope me. You're prepared to die. Report. The Allied commander is struggling. <laughs> have an impressive array of skills. I must work harder myself. Time to meet out your punishment. The enemy are too powerful. My will alone cannot stop them. We may have won, but our troops are exhausted. The Northern Campaign will have to stop here. Okay, I give up. For now, at least. Next time, I won't go so easy on you. I can fight as well as anybody when backed into a corner. <laughs> huh? Lady Shin Tsai, why the hurry? Is something wrong? <laughs> I'm looking for Lord Liu Shan. Have you seen him? No. Actually, I think I might have seen him in the garden. <laughs> Thank you for your help. <laughs> she sure was angry, huh? <sighs> Lord Liu Shan. He knows her temper, yet he always tries to get out of his training anyway. Know what time it is? Not really. It's time for your training. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I don't feel so well today. How long do you think you can keep using the same excuse? Okay, let's go and get your sword. You are always so strict. There is no escape from your duties. You must simply fulfill them.